Shalom, who praises the hour of Hashem, El Shab, Hashem, El Rakakudash. Double honors unto the elder apostles and bishops of great Musa and the rule well. And Shalom to the whole four lap. This is Paya Allah. The title of this video will be determined upon the upload. What I want to delve into is the hot topic at this moment dealing with Wi Fi and the protests in Chi Town, Chicago. All right. Them being caught up in the midst of it all and um what it speaks to and and really speaks more so to, more so of what it speaks to and how we ought to conduct ourselves knowing that we're really in some treacherous times around leading up to the times of great judgment upon the earth. Alright. So um first I wanna deal with this article. No, I would have had it on the website, but what actually is happening speaks to the point I'm going to build upon. But there's a pop up that keeps popping up of a of a of a um, Esau's Esau sword, basically it's modern day sword. It keeps popping up, and I was surprised because the advert the advertising it it's total. We don't have those things over here. Right, we like, I have never seen no adverts for those things, so that I was even in shock. It had me flabbergasted <laughs> to see an advert for that because I've never seen one in my life. We we don't see those kind of things over here. That isn't something that's marketed to us over here. So the fact that that has no bounds in terms of VPN lets me know that you know it's trying to entice people into something and to build a narrative all right which is as the headline reads pro uh protesters beat you know hebrew israelites with palestinian flags in chicago now what i want to say is to say it plainly you will never see a headline like this all right usually what you usually see is palestine versus israel all right that's what you always see now the fact that you see pro so-and-so with black so-and-so lets you know they're trying to build a narrative all right they're trying to put them on an even playing field to say one is as bad as the other all right so what it's doing is what it's propping up or attempting to should i say prop up all the camps on that level all right but we as many brothers have been doing, take a firm stance in that that's not what we're about at all, all right? We're about pushing the word on highways and byways and ushering the kingdom of heaven by way of a spiritual means of um, preaching the foolishness of Yahweh Shai, all right? That, that is it, all right? And we understand that the Heavenly Father is going to make his... His um in the midst of all of this, he's gonna he's gonna basically be our salvation, all right, and endow us with spiritual power to allow us to maneuver throughout the course of these these, you know, questionable questionable times. All right. I said I don't even sit right with me, questionable times. With these dangerous times, these dark times we're in. All right. <laughs> So, this Wi-Fi, as you can see, is 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 an attempt to put us in a certain, build a certain narrative. All right. So, with that being said, this is why you have to be very mindful of everything that's going on. All right, you have to be mindful in how you move. All right, you don't want your face to be, um, even though, I mean, it's all down to the spirit. But more so, the point being is that you have to move circumspectly. You have to keep your head on a swivel and keep an eye out, all right? So, I've got a few precepts. I'm going to delve into them, and Lord willing, you'll be edified. So, I'll start with this one. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is a defense, all right? Wisdom is a defense. Having... Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is a great defense because it allows you to maneuver within events, you know, that may arise, all right? There may be, you know, some trouble that arises or 
pussy or you'll be able to perceive possible trouble that's on the horizon. You might be in the midst of something you see from far away and uh-uh, that ain't where we want to go. But that's down to wisdom. And money is a defence. Yeah, money is a defence as well. Just deal with the elites of this world. They're able to do what? To defend themselves by means of their money. Put themselves in places that other people can't get to. And even if they're around other people that are of a lesser, you know, or more desperate than they are, and um, opportuni- opportunistic by nature, they have the defence um, of money whereby they're secure within their place, all right? But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to them that have it, all right? Because wisdom only is what will give you life. What is wisdom? Wisdom is the wisdom knowledge and understanding is the truth of the most high power, Sophia, all right? The, the, the spirit, the Holy Spirit of the Heavenly Father. So with that being said, it tells you the Lord gave the word and great was a company of them that published it, all right? The Heavenly Father gave the word and the prophets, they published the word abroad, all right? The greatest use of that we can see in terms of salvation and it being the defense is when you deal with, and to the letter more or less, is when you deal with, and when I say to the letter, I mean to the letter of the precept Psalms 68, 11. You have Moses, all right? When the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, rose him up and chose him to be a deliverer of the people, of his people, the children of Israel, and he basically turned around and said, look, send, you know, can you send someone else? Can you have someone else speak? Because I'm not eloquent. And the most I got angry with him. Why? Because he said, look, who made the tongue? Who made, you know, the eyes? Who made the ears? Don't, don't I have, you know, didn't I give all these things? Don't I control the use of all these things? So why would you question me doing this? And the thing of um, the most I showing him that great, power that he has he made his his brother Aaron a prophet unto him whereby he would Aaron would be the mouthpiece and Moses would be the one would be the most high in that sense the God in that sense the power in that sense to give the word unto um, Aaron so that he can you know fully understand what the most high was talking about but that's that's again to the letter of you know the Most High gave the word. Moses was given that word and was, and was published and had him his his brother publish it. All right, but only that word was a great defense because everything that was uttered came to pass, and that's why it tells you in the Book of Psalms that the Most High, you know, he basically rebuked, uh, not rebuked, he reproved kings for our sakes. All right, and that was done by way of the word. That weren't done by no you know, going down to a protest and drop kicking people. No, it was done by means of the word. All right, when I speak to I wanna to speak to that to show the power of the word, all right, and the reason why we are in the predicament we're in, all right, and the, the reason why the Heavenly Father has given us the word because it's our power, it's our only power and it enables us to, to enact a great level of faith in utilizing it, all right, which will make us worthy unto salvation. So let's get into this. It's Acts 4 and 1. And as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Yahweh Shai, the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now even tight, right? So they basically bundled them into prison by laying hold of them. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000, all right? So even though they got thrown into prison, what happened? You had 5,000 men get converted, or 5,000 individuals be converted onto Yahweh Shai, all right? Believe. So it said men, yeah, it did say men. Uh, verse 5, And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes and Ananias, the high priest, and Caphias, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Yerushalayim. 
And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have ye done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and the elders of, of, of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole? All right. And then read this again, sir. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, all right, that being the point, that's a key point to remember as well, all right, said unto them, ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of good of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all, and to all the people in Israel, that by the name of Yahweh and Mashiach of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom the Most High raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you all. This is a stone which was set at naught of, of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right. And mind you, they healed the man, and he had 5,000 men also coming to the faith. So that speaks to the greatness of that power, the greatness of that miracle. Verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. Right, just like they told the Lord, like like was said to the Lord, how you know this have not learned, um, learned the, the scrolls. I'm, I'm loosely paraphrasing, because you had a house of scrolls, you had an education system, and it was a place just like university, right? Where you know university. I mean, I dropped out, but I had a lot of friends in uni, so I kind of know the um. The, the the I get I, I got a gist of it, you know. You have a um, university over here in the UK at least. You have university events where there's an amalgamation of universities, and there's universities where Jake congregate more so than any other uni. And in that being the case, there becomes a you know an acquaintance that is built, right? Because you have a lot of people within that uni circuit do similar things. So university, what does it go back to? It goes back to the colleges, the the schools of the prophets, right? That's why it was established to delve into the learning of the Bible, right? Places like Cambridge, Oxford. That's why you have, I believe it's Cambridge, still printing the Apocrypha to this day because that was what it was set up to do, all right? But the fact that these were unlearned and ignorant men made them marvel because the only way you're going to learn and understand this word is by what? By being part of that circle of um, the, the going to the house of scrolls. All right? But that shows you that they were what? As it was said about Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay? So let me read on. So, um... And they took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh Shai. So they said that was the reason why they kind of said, okay, no, these men were with the Lord. So that's why they know these things. Verse 14, and beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. All right, so they basically stood there, you know, looking like, what can we do? All right, and and, and not, not that nonchalant and careless, like, they really was like, what the hell can we do? Because this ain't, this ain't looking good. All right? Verse 15. But then, but when they had commanded um, them to go aside for, out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, what shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle have been done by them. <laughs> it's manifest to all them that dwell in Yerushalayim, and we cannot deny it. 
but that it spread no further among the people, lest straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. All right? And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Yahweh Shai. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of the Most High to hearken unto you, more than unto the Most High judge ye. But we cannot but speak the things which we have uh, seen and heard. All right? So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified the Most High for that which was done. For the man was above four years old on whom was whom this miracle of healing was showed. All right, so this guy was bait. He was well known, all right? But this speaks to the point of what? They were brought to cancel, all right? But it was shown that the Holy Spirit leapt on them and it condemned these people right through the spirit. Now, Wi-Fi, they could have condemned, you know, I mean, I ain't going to speak to that situation, but what they're meant to be doing is condemning the kingdom. And they could have done it by another means of being away from that protest. All right, you see there's a protest going on where you usually got camp going on. Make a move, man. Go elsewhere. All right, because... Only the these are the these are the acts, all right, that we ought to be doing, all right, bringing out the word, and hearing, um, people's spirit, the smithereens, man, all right, through the spirit, you know, the word obliterating, cutting through their their um their spirit, man, making them feel, you know, making them feel away, separating, you know. I mean, I'm not going to dwell on that too much, but, you know, just, you know, cutting people in the spirit. Um, as it tells you in the book of Hebrews 4 and 12. So, with that being said, let me close out this scripture. Because all this speaks to this. This book of Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth a sheep. In the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right. Now we're being we've been sent forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. What does that mean? That means that they have to power us. All right. And I was actually thinking about the scripture. You know, this is one of the key spiritual scriptures being brought up, and I grew up watching one of the, the video, one of the movies. I remember watching from. I don't know, man, probably like three, four, five years old, is um Watership Down, a rat with um the, the the rabbits basically. Garfunkel singing Bright Eyes is the theme song. Alright. Now um with that being said, um in that movie it shows you that there was all forms of, of prey a predator, sorry, and the rabbits were for a prey. But then they said the sun god, you know, it's all paganism in that movie. But just for the sake of the analogy, I'll, I'll delve into the point. It says that they were given, you know, hind feet to run. Like they were basically given ability not to fight, but to deal with <laughs> the circumstances. And, and that's the same thing that we've been given. We've been given wisdom, all right? So not to go toe to toe and fight them. All right, these wolves, but more so to to have mastery of them in terms of how we, we maneuver. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So we have to be wise as a serpent. We have to be, you know, circumspect in how we move, but harmless as doves. All right, because we've been soon a sheep. Verse 17, but beware of men. All right, so it goes further into it. So we should we ought to be aware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and will discourage you in their in their synagogues. And this is why we've got to beware of men. Things like this is why we have to beware of men. Because they have an agenda at hand and they want to execute it. Alright? And only they want to paint us in a certain type of light. 
all right and things like this going on give them you know what it would they would hope this will give them credibility all right and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the gentiles just as you see peter and john did all right that's the whole reason why these things are happening but when they deliver you up take no thought how or what you shall speak for it shall be given you the same hour when you sh when you shall speak yeah just like the holy spirit remember it fell upon peter when he spoke that's what's gonna happen for it is not he that speak but the spirit of, of your father which speak in you yeah and that's the, the thing that as I mentioned before, Moses lacked. But we use Moses as an example, all right, where he had Aaron to show him as an example that, look, we just, we got to keep doing what we ought to be doing and stick to the rules and regulations, you know, that have been put in place by the Heavenly Father, all right, through the Spirit and Prophet, how Barsham Yoshai, Barsham Harakar Kodosh, being presented by our, um, um, elder apostles and bishops all right that we fall in line accordingly all right and speak the things that pertain to the spirit all right so that when it's that time hey it's just you've done it so many times before you, the spirit will just come on come upon you and do everything you need to do so with that i pray you edify to the next one I say shalom shalom